Hello, everybody. Never really done this before. A uh, live video. So I'm testing it out. I'm trying to see if I can see my notes and stuff at the same time. Okay, so trying something I've never done before. First of all, live video. Second, never have I uh, tried to share my thoughts while walking to work. Um, so yeah, let's kill two birds with one stone. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, let's just, let's start with prayer. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this beautiful day today. Thank you, Lord, for your presence. Thank you for a wonderful time at church this morning. I just pray a blessing over anyone who's going to watch this video, that they'll be encouraged by the scriptures that you have here, um, encouraged by your word, that you would speak to them in Jesus' name. So, I'm calling this video um, Five Twenty Twenty Scriptures to keep us on solid ground in 2020. And um, it was last week that uh, my pastor was was sharing a, a verse that had 2020 in it. And um, it really spoke and it was very timely word for the season that we're in. I thought that was incredible. I looked it up and sure enough, it's very, very timely and perfect. And I thought, what if there might be some other verses in the Bible? And I went through book by book looking to see if there are any more. And obviously many of the books are too short. They don't have uh, 20 chapters in them. So you can skip those over very quickly. And um, there's a few others that um, didn't seem relevant. So you can skip those ones too. And it dwindled it down to five. I just want to share these. And uh, hopefully this video is working. Hopefully I have internet the whole time. And uh, a good signal and that you guys can hear me clearly but uh, first one that that I came across was Exodus 2020 and uh, it says this so Moses said to the people do not be afraid for God has come to test you so that you his fear may be in you so that you do not sin I thought wow I think that really speaks to this time as well God is using this hard time it is revealing the things that are in our hearts. You can see what people are, are posting on Facebook. You can see just how angry people get with the political situation going on that really isn't good for either side. Um, I don't know how anybody can rejoice on either side right now. It's pretty terrible. And um, not only that, the riots, the fires, the earthquake earlier this year, um, I know there's other ones in other parts of the world as well. There's just the whole COVID situation. This whole year has been incredibly hard. People dying, people's loved ones passing away or getting really sick. All kinds of challenges that we're going through in this time. And God encourages us not to be afraid. That God is revealing the things in our heart. He wants His fear which means that we are in fear and awe, reverence of Him, to be in us. I mean, right there in the Bible, it says the beginning of, of wisdom is what? It's the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So, those who are walking away from God cannot have wisdom. The things that they are, are telling us, even Jesus tells us that if we build our lives upon His words, that we will stand in the midst of the storm. But those who don't, whether they hear his words and they don't obey them, they're like the one who built their, their lives on the sand. Everyone else's advice and, and quote unquote wisdom is sand. Only Jesus' words are rock, are something we can trust and stand upon. The word of God is the only source that we can stand firm on. And no, we're not gonna fall. So that's Exodus 12. The second verse that really stood out to me um, is from oh and this is not a uh, 2020 verse but uh, I thought that this went really well uh, along with that verse is first 
uh, 2 Timothy 1 7 for God has not given us a spirit of uh, timidity or fear but of power and love and self-control self-discipline Romans 8 15 says for you do not receive the spirit of slavery to fall again into fear rather you receive the spirit of adoption by whom we cry Abba Father so we're not afraid of our situation our circumstances why because we know who God is if we're only afraid of him and no one else we will weather the storm our lives will not crash like Jesus said our lives are not gonna fall apart and crash when the wind blows and the rain falls our lives will stand as opposed to crashing um, so let's come to the next one Ezekiel 20 and I thought three verses were relevant 19 20 and 20 or no two 19 and 20 um, so we have Ezekiel 20 20 and the preceding verse it says I'm the Lord your God walk in my statutes keep my ordinances and do them keep my Sabbath holy so that they will be a sign between me and you that you may know that I'm the Lord your God right here we got to hold on to his word his ordinances his laws his um, instructions for us that David rejoiced in it that we can all rejoice in the Word of God all scripture is given for instruction it's inspired by God given for instruction that we can all be built up we need to know that we can stand upon his word so the next one is the verse that my pastor read uh, last week second Chronicles 2020 as they went forth Jehoshaphat stood and said listen to me O Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem believe in the Lord your God and you will be confirmed trust in his prophets and you will succeed it's very relevant right now where we need to hold on to him we need to hold on to what God says and trust those in spiritual authority and we're gonna succeed we need to trust that God has put those godly people in our lives that we can listen have peace and to always hang on to his word the next one is John 20 20 and verse we're gonna read from 19 to 21 so 2020 is in the middle so verse 19 it was evening on that day the first of the week when the doors were locked where the disciples uh, were for fear of the Judean leaders Jesus came and stood in their midst and he said to them peace to you after the after he said this give me one second after he said this He showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace to you. As the Father sent me, so I also send you. I think a huge key in this season is having peace. Jesus came to give us peace and to send us out. We are sent into this world. The world is hurting. The world is lost and lonely. The world is confused and scared. He has sent us to our co-workers, to our loved ones, to our family and friends, to those we care about, to our neighbors, even those who hate us and are our enemies. We're called to love our neighbors, love our enemies, to care for those and pray for those even who will persecute us. All right. Um, so yeah, we need to keep our focus on Jesus. Sorry if this video is very shaky as I'm walking and trying to balance this and not run into a tree or fall into one of these uh, pits here on the ground, potholes. Um, so let's keep going. From that place, okay. From this place of peace in our hearts, this is where we're sharing him to the ends of this earth. Acts 20, 20 and 21. So I did not shrink back from proclaiming to you anything that was profitable, teaching you publicly as well as from house to house, testifying to both Jews and Greeks uh, repentance to God and trust in our Lord Jesus that's the key right there that is the key we're not to hold anything back but to share all the gospel all the Word of God what God has taught our lives that's how we are to make disciples is to share with them everything we don't hold anything back we testify 
about repentance to God and trust in our Lord Jesus. This is the key right there. And I thought these five scriptures can help us keep our focus on Jesus in the year 2020. And they're all um, based in chapter 20, verse 20. I hope that's encouraging. These are some key words. Sorry about the sun shining on the camera right there. But love you guys. And uh, yeah, keep the faith. Hold on to what is true. Hold on to the word of God. And we're going to stand even in the midst of probably the hardest year that any of us have ever experienced in our lives. God bless you. Feel free to comment. And uh, we'll talk again soon.